Hey everyone, happy, happy new year. Can you believe it's already a week into 2024? This is crazy. Time goes by so fast. Last year was amazing. I can't believe that I was more consistent on YouTube, especially during Vlogmas, which was so much fun and hectic and wild and just a blast. I'm really stoked that Jared and I pulled through and were consistent with Vlogmas as much as we were able to. I think that really actually pushed us to want to stay more consistent on YouTube. So we've already got this month planned. We have amazing ideas and um, really fun vlogs and podcasts and different videos that are going to come out. So I'm really excited about this year. It's going to be my first official year on YouTube, being consistent for sure. I can't believe it's almost going to be a year that I was on the Shane Dawson podcast. It just feels like it was just yesterday. It's pretty wild <laughs> to think about, but I'm excited for that. As much as last year came with amazing memories and just really amazing, like life-changing events for not just us, but for our families um, on both sides. And as much as it was just incredible, I am really looking forward to this new year. I know we haven't really talked about it, but Jared and I have been trying to conceive for about a year, give or take a few months. Um, I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram, but I had to have a procedure done. And so maybe I'll do a video of that soon, but I'm excited that this year, I'm really gonna try to go back to eating more whole foods and be more mindful of what I eat. And I'm sure everybody says that at the beginning of the year, these New Year's resolutions, but I will say it is almost a full week into the new year and I've been more mindful but I haven't been the way I want to be. I am not going to be that person who I was. I mean for a long time I was like starting January 1st I'm not gonna do this and I'm only gonna eat that and so on and so forth but I'm gonna give myself a break. <laughs> I feel like when at least for myself I feel like when I always put these like high expectations for myself it just makes me feel so bad about myself every time I don't meet those expectations. So I'm over it. I feel like life is just about a journey and as cliche as that sounds, like I'm just on my journey and last year really was a big year for me. And when I say it's because of YouTube, it really is because I was able to get out of my head and out of these negative thoughts about putting myself out there for everybody to see. <laughs> um, so for me, that was so huge just for my own mental health and my own inner growth. So this year I am going to set goals for myself and I'm not gonna beat myself up if I say I'm gonna eat clean and then one day I eat pizza. I'm just not gonna beat myself up over it. What I am going to do is I'm going to set goals for myself that I want to be healthy. I want to be more mindful, like I said, of what I'm eating. I also want to make sure that I'm taking care of myself, not just physically, but mentally, spiritually. I want to make sure that I make make a huge effort to show up for myself in those ways. So I'm gonna go out and get a gym membership. I want to work on get being healthy. And when I say being healthy, it doesn't necessarily mean like, I wanna lose X amount of weight by X amount of time. That would be cool. But for me, I've kind of just gone past that. Like, and I'm sure many know, or many will say like, well, if you wanna have a kid, you wanna try to lose weight. And though I'm sure losing weight does not hurt, <laughs> it does not hurt to, uh, to conceive for sure. But the reality of it is too, is that many people, you know, thankfully conceive in any sizes, you know? And so for me, I just want to relieve the stress of society's expectations or my own expectations. I want to be able to get healthy because mentally it's good for me, not because I want to see numbers on a scale go down. Would that be beneficial? A hundred percent. Yes. Would that be good to see yes but what's important to me for this year is that I'm happy and I'm healthy and that mentally I am showing up for myself with different coping skills with that being said I thought it would be pretty cool because for me I feel like I just need to declutter I need to like reset everything so I'm going to start in my kitchen I'm going to declutter my fridge because I gotta go grocery shopping I'm gonna get some healthy snacks and just kind of some basics 
I'm also going to clean out my cabinets and kind of go the whole nine yards. So we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping and then I am going to come back, chop everything up and get it all organized and put away and then we'll see what else we can get into. I'm really thankful that you guys are here and I hope you guys stay for this journey and please share if you guys are on a similar journey or if you guys have any great yearly goals that you wanna accomplish this year. Leave them down in the comment, but we'll uh, get things started and we'll see you in a little bit. All right. I will say so that just wash the if dishes. you have not very much space like we do, I got this drying rack and it just kind of hangs here and on the other side. And let me say it is amazing <laughs> it's really helped us out and then also in a previous video you guys commented on how um or were wondering how we like hang these so we have these like little hooks and they're magnetic and so we just put our kitchen mittens there so that's round one is the dishes now we're going to clean the top of our fridge so again with our tiny kitchen i'm sure like most have things on top of the fridge here we go, you guys can see. <laughs> so I just have to organize like Brazil nuts and hemp seeds. So um, I just have to organize it and then kind of just throw away stuff that maybe have expired or we don't use anymore. And then after that, I'm going to uh, declutter this area right here. This area we have, uh, right now we have chips, which is not good. Um, some bread, some stuff from uh, last year, AKA two weeks ago. <laughs> so I can throw some of this stuff out, but I normally put in our butternut squash or onions, um, things like that. I'll put in that little basket. So I'm gonna go after the top of the fridge, I'll declutter that and then I'll declutter this, declutter the fridge and then clean the fridge and then we'll be ready to go grocery shopping, which I'm sure you know is a whole crazy task on its own. <laughs> so let's clean the top of this fridge. you guys are like me but when I start cleaning I like to do a little thing that people like to call reorganizing <laughs> so um, now that I've cleaned the top of the fridge now I'm tempted and already have looked at my cabinets in the back so I guess what I'm saying is that once I tackle this cabinet in the back of the fridge I'm gonna want to tackle every cabinet in this kitchen and reorganize everything thankfully my husband's amazing he's the best uh he did or reorganize our tupperware section which sometimes i feel like that's like the worst one of all of them <laughs> but we don't really have a pantry so we have limited space when it comes to pantry so everything's a little stacked on top of each other with that being said who knows if i'm going to be able to get to go grocery shopping tonight <laughs> 
it's like when you try to organize, when you try to clean, it's just sometimes you don't get everything done in one day and that's okay. I'm not trying to put myself down or say anything badly because you know what? At least I'm doing it. So I'm already winning. All right, let's see what this cabinet's got behind it. Here it is, folks. It looks very empty. <laughs> So I'm definitely taking that out because I'm gonna put that in my car. I'm not one that normally remembers to keep bags in their car when they go grocery shopping. So then I come home with a ton of bags and I don't wanna be wasteful like that. I'm just gonna try to make an effort to try to have bags in my car. And I just dropped something, cool. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> so this is from Halloween. I should have probably put that with my Halloween stuff. And then I have some pumpkin seeds and oh baby clams so i saw somebody do like a recipe with baby clams and i was like i'm totally gonna do that they're still good for another year and a half so would you guys like to see a recipe with uh baby clams hmm and then we have some supplements cooking wine which we don't normally cook with wine yet but we have some like old i mean you guys i'm almost like beyond embarrassed but i feel like we all have some of these in our pantries right look at this this is still good by november by 2024. i don't know if you guys like green valley beans but i do i think a lot of this stuff can go either in the trash or i can at least use the tubs so i'm just so excited this is getting me really excited I feel better already, but I won't stop. I don't know about you guys, but how I work is I normally take everything out and then I like reorganize and like throw stuff away. If you guys follow the home edit on Instagram and everywhere else, Netflix, they edit, throw things away, and then they reorganize. And it really works. It's just kind of looks like a tornado went through your area if you do it that way. And I just got off the phone with Jared and he's so funny. He always says that I get goofy <laughs> when I clean or like sometimes he'll say I get mean. <laughs> but I don't get mean, I just get like very focused. I'm sure you guys can relate. So now I'm going to go through this disaster and then I'm going to organize that and then kind of separate what I want, what I don't want, and then organize it into the cupboard because I don't really want it stacked on the fridge again. I didn't like the way that looked. And then I have some casserole dishes that I'm going to put up in my cabinet also. And then before I used to organize all of my like pumpkin seeds and all of my supplements. I used to uh, organize that in like mason jars because I didn't like the idea of things like in plastic bags. And so I think I'm gonna do that again, but I think I'm also gonna need a label maker. So much fun. I love organizing. All right, let's see what we uh, get done. I figured that this is very overwhelming for me to record everything. So we're going to do a transitional shot. So I know you might think it doesn't look like I did a ton, <laughs> but I did. So I was going to put these into mason jars, but you know, it's like five bucks more to get um, jars that I actually would like to have. So I ordered those and I should get those shortly. So hopefully that will be nice and restocked in a few days. And then I also got like a holder for seasons that will stick to the fridge. So that will also clear up some space. But yeah, I think that looks pretty dang good. Transition shot number two. All right, so then we have this area, which I think looks way better. Um, we have our, my lunch canister, and I have containers there that are like very vintage. Then we have our wedding glasses and a little section for the tanks and the fish food, so that way it's easy just to take out of the of the cabinet. And so yeah, I think it looks a lot better than, than before. All right guys, so I finally made it out of the house to go grocery shopping. It took a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay, no big deal. I'm gonna head over to, I believe, Costco, and then I'm gonna head to Sprouts afterwards. So, like I mentioned, I don't have like a ton of like recipes in mind that I wanna shop for. I just wanna solely shop for like snacks and little things that will get us um, through until tomorrow or the next day that I can go grocery shopping again. <laughs> that is like the one thing that I think is hard for me when I like try to stay on track about like eating healthy and like making food is man I feel like I'm just constantly living at the grocery store 
I don't know if you guys feel that way, but <sighs> so it's a little frustrating, especially because like, you know, life and I want to be in bed by a certain time, but then I have to go grocery shopping and make dinner and all the fun stuff. But anyways, <laughs> I uh, do have a few recipes from this book, uh, The Defined Dish. She just came out. Um, her name is Alex Sondgras. Pretty sure I'm not saying that right. Um, but she just came out with a new book. But this is my first book that I've gotten from her and I really, really like it. It's Whole Foods, I'm sorry, it's Whole 30 Expired, uh, inspired, endorsed. And so um, I have a few recipes in there that I want to shop for because um, I love this cookbook. It is so great. I highly recommend and I'm really excited to get her new book. Um, but what I also got is the Juicing Bible. Um, it has over 80,000, not recipes, I'm reading the wrong thing. It has over 800,000 copies in print. <laughs> Anyways, so yes, the Juicing Bible. It's a second edition. I got this a few weeks ago because I wanted Jared and I to uh, start juicing a little bit more. Uh, not as like a meal replacement, but just to get more vegetables into our bodies. So I normally used to do like a smoothie in the morning and it used to be more like a fruit based smoothie which I still love those uh, those are really great but I want to do more like vegetable juices um, or smoothies in the morning so I'm gonna pick a recipe or two from here and then that way test them out for a few days and see if we like them if not then I'll switch it up to something else but so far that's my plan snacks some you know protein some veggies and then um, some ingredients from these recipes. But I will take you guys along and hopefully we'll find everything we need. All right, I've made it to Costco. And the funny thing is that I like to go to Costco only really for one thing. I usually go just for their carrots <laughs> because they have like a 10 pound bag of carrots for like three bucks it's crazy but we'll see what else we can find but definitely carrots <laughs> let's see what else they have finally going into costco Hey guys I'm back home I know I forgot to take you into sprouts with me but I figured I'd do like a little haul of what I got so this is stuff is gonna be from sprouts and I ended up getting a lot more from Costco <laughs> than I thought I know I had mentioned I only get uh, carrots but I totally forgot that I actually get a lot more so let me show you what I got from sprouts all right so here's the first batch <laughs> I got a few bags so I got some sweet peppers I love having those with like um the tuna salad or just as a little snack some red potatoes some pears apples I got some I think it's called decon or decon radishes these are really good I normally saute them and cut them up like as if they were potatoes so anyways there's a really good um, I'll show you guys when I make them how I prepare them. Uh, the papaya, because I heard it's amazing for hormones and min it has minerals and amazing stuff. So I'm going to try eating that. I normally put that in like a smoothie, but I'm going to try eating that just by itself. I got some uh, chicken sliced breast and some chicken thighs. And I also got some tur ground turkey. Um, bananas and then Jared and I are going to plant these uh, rosemary and thyme so that way we don't have to keep buying them I feel like I always buy them and then I just use it up and I never plant it so all right so Jared went to the nursery and got supplies so we're able to start growing these herbs that we got from the store okay so <laughs> let's get these planted what we got here is the rosemary and the thyme I picked up a couple of these clay pots and some Fox Farm soil. The reason for that is it's living soil. It's really good. It doesn't have any like fake stuff in there. You know what I mean? To make it grow all fast. So we're going to open up the soil. I have this cup, which is going to be a double purpose. You'll see in a minute here. So let's go ahead and just scoop some of the soil right into our pots. Keep it nice and fluffy. You want air and water to be able to go through the soil as, uh, as the plant's roots are developing. So we're gonna fill those up to about an inch of the top as such. 
a little bit more, a little bit more. And then, like I said, the cup is gonna be dual purpose. So let's get this open. We'll start with the rosemary. It's so exciting. I feel like we've always wanted to do this yeah, with the can, herbs. You can see here, if you don't know much about plants, this is the root system here. So we wanna put this into this pot and what that will allow is these roots to have way more room to grow. The plant will get bigger, it will thrive. And the best way to get it into this soil is to use the cup and just push down like so. And what this is gonna do is create a nice area for us to put our rosemary. Mmm, it smells delicious and already. we'll start putting it all around there like that. And then we'll come in. What is your soil from this one for now? Don't worry if you're a little wasteful <laughs> with soil, it's good for everything. And that's it. So there's the rosemary. There it is. For the thyme, let's go ahead and add some soil here. We're gonna go like that. Give it a nice little home. There it is, as you can see, we have the roots developing right there. We're gonna give them a nice place to develop more. I just love this idea to be able just to have it at home, ready to go. So when you're ready to make your food, just go outside and pick your herb. If only you can grow your own vegetables and fruits <laughs> and stuff, then we'd be in business. Maybe we'll baby start, steps, we'll, baby steps. Maybe we'll start doing that. All right, so there you go. So again, make sure you don't overpack the soil. You want it to be nice and aerated and hydrated as the water's going in there. And then probably within the next day or so, they'll need some watering. And then as the roots develop, it'll get stronger into the pot. You did such a great job. Now let's see what else you got at the store. <laughs> okay, so for round two, so I got these two um, waters because I want us to kind of lean off on soda. I haven't had any soda so far, but I know Jared really likes soda. So I got us uh, some tea and I was going to just have some tea prepared. So that way he had something to drink when he wanted some. I got some tahini because the recipes I saw for the papaya, it always involved like tahini and some blueberries. So I figured that kind of would make it easier to eat the papaya because papaya has like a really weird smell. I don't know if you guys ever had papaya or if you guys enjoy it, but I know my parents would eat it all the time and it does have like a scent to it. So I'm hoping that with the tahini, some blueberries, maybe add like a drizzle of like raw honey or something um, would make it taste really nice. So that's why I got the tahini and then some uh, kiwis, which we love. And then I got Jared some pizza. I'm not a huge fan of pizza, but uh, Jared is a fan. I also didn't want him to feel like deprived, like, oh, this is a new year. We have to like completely stop what we're eating. So I'm trying to find like healthier versions of things like he does like. Um, so that way, like if I'm not home or if he gets like hungry, he can just like pop it in the oven or, um, you know, things like that. So. I got this Blackbird. I haven't had this brand yet and he hasn't had it either, but it's a kale and spinach. So we'll see, test that out, see if he likes that. And then I got the cauliflower crust pizza um, with pepperoni. So, you know, there it goes. Uh, I got some hand soap and then Jared really likes this so delicious uh, yogurt and um, he likes the vanilla one, <laughs> but I got, I also got the unsweetened one because I think that it's gonna go really well with like our um, smoothies in the morning. It kind of will give it like a different texture and Jared is like very big on texture. I also got him the mango coconut pepper dressing. He likes to put this on like chicken. And then I got Vital Proteins. Um, I used to take this all the time. I used to actually buy it by like, the container or the canister, but I'm slowly getting back into it and I'm kind of looking through different kind of protein little packets that I wanna try out. So I'm back trying out some vital proteins and then some cayenne pepper. I don't know if you guys know, but cayenne pepper is supposed to be amazing for you. So I make sure to put that on our chicken or on some of our um, vegetables that I, that I roast. I also got coconut aminos. I was trying to be like more cautious about the ingredients and in, um, the stuff that I was buying. So this one just has coconut, uh, nectar, water, sea salt, a few little other things. But I really like putting this on my chicken um, or sometimes on my, on my vegetables if I'm like sauteing them. And then I got some sponges. 
that's what I got from Sprouts. Pretty good stuff. Let me go ahead and do a Costco haul type of a thing to show you what I ended up actually getting at Costco. So let me get that together and I'll show you right now. So batch one of our uh, Costco run. So I got some cucumbers, some walnuts, cashews, and almonds. I just wanted to make sure that they didn't have any like um, salt and that they weren't roasted. I just wanted them raw. I also got some Brazil nuts. Uh, like I mentioned before, that these have really good, um, it's called selenium or selenium. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that right, but it's really great for thyroid health and hormone health. And then um, I got some zucchinis. I did get some dates, which I know you guys are gonna be like, it has so much sugar, which you're absolutely right. But I like to make these little like protein bowls. So I don't use a ton of them. So I used to make like our own granola. I don't know if you guys make that or have seen that, but it's usually with like coconut flakes, dates, um, some oats and some nuts. And it's really good. It's essentially just like granola, but ranola. So I also got some uh, spaghetti squash and I did get some lotion, I swear. Costco gets me every time. They're having the deal and it's so good. I usually use this, um, especially cause I have sensitive skin. This two pack was like 16 bucks, which um, this brand can get a little expensive. But then I also got this. I've never had it before. And I really actually also got it for Jared because you know, I like to like throw in something in his lunches, just like as a little snack or if we're at home. And I wanted it to, it to be like stress-free, I guess, for both of us on like, if we wanted to eat something, we could just grab something to eat it. And it might not be like the best thing that we could eat, but it's a lot better than what we would have eaten before. So for now, until I make our own ranola or our own snacks, um, I'm okay with us having this. So yeah, that is batch one. Let me get batch two. Ready? All right, here is batch two of Costco. Um, I got this, I usually always get this when I go to Costco. It's like a two pack of the Santa Fe Girls chicken salad. Uh, this again is for Jared. Um, that's just like on days where either I didn't have enough dinner from the night before to give it to him for lunch. So he'll just grab one of these. I got some of these hippie um, organic uh, green beans, which we love green beans. I did get these cocktail cucumbers. Uh, I really like them because they're really easy to eat. They're crunchy. So I got these really mostly for myself, but maybe Jared will have some. I got some romaine heads um, or heads of romaine <laughs> lettuce. I saw this recipe for shrimp and I thought it'd be kind of cool to do like shrimp tacos. So I was gonna use a romaine lettuce for that. Um, these power greens, I use these for our smoothies. So um, I either stick it into the freezer or this will usually last us like maybe three or four days because again, like I just put it in our smoothies or I can use that in like a salad. Um, I also got Jared's favorite, <laughs> uh, Brussels sprouts, just kidding. But they are my favorite. I really do like Brussels sprouts. Those are really good. And then I got some mushrooms and some cauliflower. And then I also did get us some avocado um, oil spray. I kind of want to also get some coconut. I'm trying to go in between coconut and avocado spray. You know, I know the benefits. They say coconut is better, but I know avocado spray has like a higher temperature resistant thing with jig. So anyways, I'm working on that. But that was batch number two. And now we don't have very much more, but let me show you batch number three. Whoosh. All right, batch number three. So I know what you're thinking. Holy moly, that's a lot of carrots. Yes, it is. So I got orange carrots and some rainbow carrots, and then I got some sweet potatoes. Um, the sweet potatoes I like to prep. Well, really everything I like to prep beforehand. So that way it's like already cut and ready to get cooked because it's so much easier. I don't know if you guys feel like this, but I feel like the majority of making food is really just prepping your food and it just takes forever sometimes and you know sometimes like you come home from work and you're tired and it just that can be very daunting to have to like then prep so i like to do that beforehand but i also like the carrots because they're really easy and they're really tasty so the carrots i can either glaze them i can make them into french fries i can chop them up really small so many things you can do with carrots <laughs> Anyway, so that is my haul for Sprouts and Costco. I am way too tired <laughs> to prep everything right now because it is getting late and I am trying to go to sleep a little earlier. So what I'm gonna do is tomorrow we're gonna prep everything up and we will see where the day takes us tomorrow. 
Okay, so now it is two days after I went grocery shopping and Jared kindly reminded me that he's gonna be gone this week for a work trip. So I definitely bought too much food for just one person. <laughs> so I was a little overwhelmed because I didn't know what I could freeze and what would go bad. So I decided that I'm going to just plan out my meals this week and then I'm going to freeze my leftovers. Uh, so what I usually do is I make dinner and then for those leftovers, I have them for lunch. So the recipes I looked up has a serving for four and it does that little wonky thing that if I do for two, it just gives me odd uh, measurements. So I'm going to do the four servings, but I'm going to save my leftovers. And then that way the following week or on the weekends, we can just pop that out and reheat it. And that way we'll have a meal that's already ready to go. So. Now I'm going to prep for today, Tuesday. I am going to also uh, cut up some vegetables for dinner tonight. So come along and we'll see uh, how everything turns out. So the first meal is going to be an Asian noodle salad. That's gonna have chicken thighs and some noodles with the uh, carrots and the daikon. And then also add some, uh, some lettuce in there as well. So now, the next one we're gonna do is called a hearty chicken salad. So it does ask for celery, olives, and Dijon mustard, but I am going to switch out my celery for cucumber. And for the Dijon mustard, I'm just going to make a turmeric paste to use that instead. Right now I'm going to just prep the carrots for that. It's just grated carrots. And then after that, I'm going to then slice up some uh, sweet potatoes that I can bake in the oven and have those for lunch, just as an added starch for my lunch. Let's look at the fridge now. Ooh. All right, so um, I was able to put a lot of our veggies in containers, just like some meal prep for today and tomorrow, and then just some lettuce on the bottom. I think it looks way better than before, so I'm really excited. Well, there it is, the first video of the new year. I really needed that decluttering session, and I'm so excited to crush my monthly goals. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys do when you guys need motivation when you're either feeling stuck or when the new year comes along? I hope you guys have been having a great new year so far. I will see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye.